Okay, I'm doing this video on how to remove and replace the combination lock on a Gibson case. Now these Gibson cases are from TKL, these are the early 2000s or the 1990s cases. This is a black one that I picked up on on Reverb and the only issue it had with it was it had a broken combination lock. So I did my research and tried to find YouTube videos or any videos on how to replace these because as you see these are rivets and they're really hard to get in and out of without actually damaging the actual combination lock itself. So here is the old lock. I just took it out and showed you what it looks like when you pull it all out. And the, the guts are of course missing because I took those out first through the inside of the case. And honestly I thought this was going to be the hardest part about changing the lock is getting this thing out. But apparently that's the easy part, and the hard part was actually getting these new rivets in without actually scraping, scratching, or doing anything to the outside of the case or the actual hardware to the lock. What I did with these is I just took a normal, like a flathead screwdriver and pounded the sides a little bit, pounded the sides, and then they, with a the screwdriver, just used a little leverage from the actual button itself to pry these puppies right off and they came out pretty easy and some of these locks are a little bit longer or shorter depending on what year your case is so you might want to measure it before you buy one of these off of eBay I bought one of these off eBay and I was lucky it was the right size the only difference is, is that this one's a gold that old one's silver but really I don't care you know so it makes it look a lot better with a new new lock on it so what I had to do First was you open up the case and you have to tear out a little bit of the inner lining, which is okay. I know you guys don't like to take care, take ripping parts of your case out, but we're going to glue that back in as soon as we get the um, new lock in there. And I've done all the hard work already. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because there aren't any videos on YouTube about this. There's one about a latch repair that the guy has you drilling out these and you don't need to do that with these because these are actually split rivets. rivets. So all you need to do is pry them up and pull them right out with a pair of pliers. The tools I have used are basically hammer. I'm going to use a couple of clamps to clamp the wood glue when I glue it back in. Need them those pliers, a pair of pliers, flathead screwdriver, and just a piece of wood. I use this piece of wood to put over here when I'm kind of like pounding them in. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to pound these with a hammer and actually damage the actual new lock. So I'll like put this right right here over it just to pound them in initially I don't I'm not using a lot of force I'm just tapping them in tapping them in because there should be old holes that are pretty much all set when you pull the old ones out so the hard part is actually inside the case it's hard to work in here there's not a lot of light I don't want to take out too much of the actual you know the lining so once once these goes once the rivets get put in all you got to do is somehow easily bend them and then what I'm gonna do is if they're loose, that's okay. You just push them in as far as they can go. And we're just gonna glue the crap out of them inside. But we're gonna glue them carefully because we don't wanna get glue in the inner mechanics of the lock. So we're just gonna glue the four corners. And then we're gonna let that dry and make sure the lock works fine. And then we're gonna go in and just re-glue this case so you won't even be able to tell that it has been replaced at all. So there's my video. If you have any questions feel free to contact me um, you just got to be really careful and take it slow be very very patient make sure you have the tools make sure you're asking the person that you're buying this off of whatever store you're buying them that's the right size for your case um, I did all that and it was pretty easy but now I'm just gonna glue this back up and I'll post a follow-up video after all right thank you for listening